Well, there it is, guys. Uh, IR850 infrared flashlight. So we can do some research at night now using night mode on the camcorder. Good afternoon, everybody, on Frequented World. And uh, we're just getting ready for this evening. I'm going to go out into the swamp and do a bit of hunting. We've got the new uh, LED 850 nanometer infrared light came in today. Unfortunately, it's not the right light. They sent me the wrong one, so it's only a 5 watt. I ordered a 10, and um, it's supposed to run on the, the bigger lithium batteries, so we'll get that sorted. But for tonight, we're going to try out the 5 uh, watt light just to see how much it helps the camcorder in night mode. That'll give us some idea of how much the 10 watt will, should do. Um, I've been busy the last two weeks. I've been in the bush quite a bit. We haven't posted a video. I've been on a couple fishing excursions and I checked miles of riverbank as I went. Just out doing some trout fishing today guys, but I'm also here bigfooting. I'm miles down the river with the dog and uh, all these sandbanks that we come to, we're checking, we're looking for tracks. This is the spawn for trout, right? So this would be a perfect time. Um, the season's still open. Um, but the trout are coming up already. They start early September. So if a creature were to be looking for a food resource, much like the salmon out west, these trout rivers are full of trout that are coming up anytime late August, early September, the spawn starts. So I'm checking all these banks for uh, tracks and anything unusual. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary there. Uh, hunting season for birds has started. Uh, so I've been out on a couple treks uh, for partridge and also, the trail cams are running. I have all the trail cams out now, so uh, busy fall. Also, I need to mention, I guess, because it is bird season now, I have to be really careful out in the bush. I uh, can't wear camo and stuff like this. Need to be in orange, even when I'm just droning and stuff. So that's going to kind of take away some of my uh, camouflage ability. I'm going to be very visible when I'm out and about. I've been uh, also doing a lot of photography. Fall is my main area for uh, photography. I sell prints, cards, canvases, and a lot of my work comes from the fall. So I've spent probably 60 hours in the last two weeks back in the bush, and I like to go to remote places. Guys, I have the camera with me. I'm checking everywhere for sign. Haven't seen anything, but I am out and about. I'm getting lots of work in. I'm getting lots of time in nature. I haven't found or heard of any stories locally uh, that need to be followed up or checked on. The only thing I can add is I have checked on, I mentioned to you guys that there was a person that had recordings from when I was a kid of unknown screaming in the area where I grew up. And I cannot get a hold of that person. Uh, she has moved, she is married, does not have the same name. I'm still trying to track her down, but to this point I have not. I did have my neighbor, my next door neighbor where I grew up, um, actually contacted me. She's been watching all of the videos and I have not done, behind my father's house out in Redbridge is an extensive swamp up behind his house. And so the neighbor owns the property that runs beside us that runs back to that swamp as well. And they have some trails in there for hiking and whatnot. And um, the neighbor was up there on the trails and she said, you need to go in there and check that area out. Last time she was in there for a walk, she said that something was throwing sticks at her. So I don't know what that would be, but she's adamant that uh, sticks were thrown. So we can go out in that area. I have not gone behind my father's. Uh, we did do a video up the Lost Road Trail metal detecting. And that Lost Road on that video goes to the neighbor's property. And you guys could see it was so thick in there uh, with blowdowns. Uh, that I had to give up on the metal detecting outing. I was trying to find a little shack that was maybe a mile back in the bush from when I was a kid. Couldn't do it. It was just too thick. But we can send the drone up there and get back to the swamp where it's open and hopefully uh, we'll be able to see some stuff along the edge of the swamp and out in the marsh itself. So we, we will do that. Tonight we're going to do the swamp here behind my place just because I want to try that light out. We can hike back here a mile and then put the drone up and it never hurts to redo a swamp that we've already done. Just because we haven't caught something on camera yet doesn't mean that it's not there or that we won't catch it in the next outing. So 
we will be doing some of these places we've done over and over and over, especially if we can find something of interest that needs to be investigated further. Okay, so I'm just coming out of the swamp, guys, from our droning expedition tonight. And I'm showing you right now how dark it is with night shot mode on. That is night shot mode. And maybe, just maybe, you can make out some trees. They're about uh, 15 feet in front of the camera. And I'm going to turn on the new 5 watt flashlight here. Okay. So that big tree out there in front is about 15 feet away and the ones in behind are over 20 feet. Sorry if I move the light around here. Now this light is also adjustable so we can 
make it more of a spotlight so it goes much further out in spotlight mode so if we wanted to check something we could so I mean this helps but it's not the 10 watt light that I ordered so there you are on normal uh, light mode no night shot and it is pitch black out here and I'll point the light at the camera so that's the 850 nanometer light right there you do see a pink glow okay so I'm gonna try to take a walk out here guys I can't see anything with this flashlight I can just make out the trees a little bit I'm gonna walk out here just so you guys can see what this light looks like try not to trip and break my neck Again, I, I don't see anything, right? So I'm just shining the light around. You guys, it'll be a surprise to me what this footage looks like. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to see if somebody were filming off to the side and somebody else had this flashlight, what would it look like? Okay, so I know what I wanted, and that was the 10 watt light. Uh, we're back in the yard now. You can see my solar lights behind me there. Um, yeah, this little 5 watt I, I may end up keeping. Just like I say, if somebody else had that and they were helping me out in the bush, I didn't even look at the footage yet. Is this going to help? I would think so. Um, but I want to get my hands on the one that I ordered, which was double the power of this one. So that's what we're in for. Um, that's about all I got for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips, advice, uh, things you want to talk about and discuss, any reports that you know of, stories, share your stories with me, guys. I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.